I have a new definition of FOB. It's not fresh off the board. My definition says O stands for over, B stands for British. I'll let you guess what S stands for. I don't want to be disqualified. <laughs> In the early days, I was fresh off the board. I wanted to understand the American culture. I was trying to make a phone call to my parents using a calling card. The hard thing about being an immigrant and using calling cards is they have only two options. Press one for English, press two for Spanish. <laughs> but my parents speak only Hindi. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> they rip me off. Come on, guys. On my first day at my job, my manager said, let's do some spitballing, Sri. And not knowing what she meant, I thought she was talking about us playing a weird game involving saliva. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really complex how Americans want to do everything exactly opposite to the British, and it really annoys me. They end up inventing games exactly just like British, cricket. They come up with baseball, soccer, hockey, there are a lot of them. And you guys had to do it with words too. Why do we call a driveway where we park? And why do we call it a parkway where we drive? I don't get it. Have you driven on the Great America Parkway? I bet you have. I don't know why they call it the parkway. Or why do you say the alarm went off? It's supposed to be the alarm just turned on. <laughs> Imagine if somebody said the bomb went off. They would be like, oh, that's great. Awesome. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you know the letter Z is Z in the US? And when I try to describe an address, I live on the Zanker Road, man. Z, no, not Z. Z A N K E R. And she's like, what do you mean, Zedanker Road? <laughs> <laughs> no, Zed. Yeah, Zedanker. <laughs> no, Zed. Zedanker Road, right? You know, all these cultural differences, they get you into really tight spot if you're not careful. This one time, homeless guy basically walks up to me and asks me for change. And I'm like, sure. Okay, how much do you want, sir? <laughs> and he was asking me for money. And in, the, in India or any other place of British colonies, asking for a change means splitting a dollar, splitting hundred dollar bills, stuff like that. <laughs> so after that time, I never give change to anybody, <laughs> even to regular people. <laughs> I got a similar reaction when I, when I went up to Home Depot recently. I went and I said, hey, do you have a torch? <laughs> <laughs> and that guy is like, sir, we don't sell a torch at Home Depot. I'm like, dude, you're an electronic store. Why don't you sell a torch? And I get, that guy was so rude. He doesn't have customer service skills. He was arguing with me. I'm like, what am I supposed to do when it's dark? I need a torch, right? He's like, sure, you need to talk, but we don't sell it, sir. <laughs> okay, then he started being, you know, started calm down, and he asked me, what do you want to do with the torch? Explain. I'm like, okay, I'm going to use the torch in my room and wave it. I use it all the time. I need a new one. He's like, are you sure the smoke alarm won't go off? <laughs> Now, my wife took it out because it's getting in her way of her cooking, so that's taken care of. <laughs> You're Indians, right? The differences between cultures can also get, get you arrested. Recently, I was at this school drive, get back to school drive, where you can donate stuff for kids. So I went to this person, I said, ma'am, I want to donate some rubbers for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, for people who don't know, rubbers also is slang for condoms in the US. So imagine if I went to a library and said, 
Ma'am, can I borrow your rubber? <laughs> I'll give it right back once I'm finished. <laughs> You know, after all these days and all these years of being in the U.S., I realized one thing, that I could probably get away with anything I say by just saying that, oh, it's a British thing, <laughs> don't worry. This one time, my friend got away with a really big HR problem. You want to hear it? He walked up to a conference room like this, and he yelled, my manager is very hot. She's so hot, you don't believe it. And people were just like shocked what he, what he said. And by the way, it's a female manager, so that's even worse. I don't know if it was worse if it was a male manager, but <laughs> what he meant was his manager was angry. That's what you say in like British when somebody is hot, you know, they're angry. This guy got into a lot of trouble, but what I want to say is, being a fop is not a big deal. Being fresh off the boat is not a big deal. You just have to make sure that you have, don't have to be too American. The Americans have to get the fox, not the fox getting the Americans. Well, you know what? Because Americans learn English from the British. Mm -hmm. That's so